Hello Collective, welcome back to the Ascender Divination Priestess channel. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your families as always. I return to source, I return to sender, all negative energies and intend immediately and permanently. I call in only the purest of white light and pray that you stay only in the highest of vibrational energies. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, it is returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you are dismantled and being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it uh, be. Okay. The judgment is final. So real quickly, there is an Empress energy. I don't know if this is someone's mother, someone's wife, baby mom um, that has fallen ill behind the scenes. Um, and I want I, I think it has something to do. I don't know if you have like a tumor tumor or something like that. Um, there's something where you're falling ill and it's only getting worse. Uh, you've been energy ha uh, harvesting for a long time. Um, I'm being told to tell you the reason why you are sick is because of hatred. You have a lot of bitterness in you. You've taken a lot from other people. You've been manipulating uh, your whole life. So what you're going through is due to your actions. Um, once it is time for you to, to transition, you may want to work on forgiving um, yourself and praying that the other people that you've wronged in life forgave you um, because your illness is simply manifested due to your, your hatred, your, your heart. You're very bitter within, um, and maybe that sounds harsh, but it, it, it's the truth. It's what it is. You're sick because you're bitter. You're, you're full of a lot of hate. You've been manipulating your whole life, um, taking from people your whole life. You want to be seen as someone in the upright but you are someone that lives a double life. You are, you present yourself one way in the public. This is you publicly, right? But you are really this behind the scenes. It's all illusions. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with greed, selfishness, ego, insecurities, and things like that. So your illness that you are going through, um, the reason why you have fallen ill and your illness is not getting any better is because of your hatred and bitterness, insecurity, you spending your life projecting hate onto other people. That's why you're in that predicament. Um, so again, when you are transitioning um, into the dream world, which you will be transitioning, you are going to need to take time and forgive yourself. Ask for forgiveness because this chapter is over, darling. Um, you're going to have to ask for forgiveness uh, from the most high because I think there are just too many people for you to call and tell them you're sorry and things like that. And quite honestly, what I picked up as well, I don't even think you have any remorse um, about anything you've done in life. And it's really sad because you've done a lot of things to people. And I think some of the people in your life are not even aware of some of the things you've done to them, um, which is really sad that you are dying with hatred in your heart. Um, after you, there's going to be a queen of wands that's going to be falling ill. Hers is just starting. It's going to be getting worse and progressing. Um, after her, it's going to be an emperor that's going to be uh, falling ill, losing everything. Uh, now, I haven't seen his death yet, but I do know that he's going to be losing everything. Like someone is stepping into poverty and he's living in fear of that um, because he knows that the end is near for him when it comes to him living in comfort, being able to manipulate, uh, pretend to be someone in the upright. It's the end of the road. OK, there's a wealthy man that's going to be uh, someone like in the public eye that's going to be falling from grace. There's an emperor in reverse that's going to be falling from grace. Uh, and this has to do with the actions that you all have been taking against other people to benefit yourself. It's like you steal and take from other people. You bribe behind the scenes to make sure that things go in your favor. So the universe is stepping in to balance something out. Okay. We have a King of Cups out here that's going through a lot of heartbreak, a lot of distress, a lot of emotional turmoils and things like that because he is trapped in some type of situation that he put himself into. This man has been coming out a lot. And it, the sad part is that I think we, I warned this person, I did predict something to him that he needed to be careful or mindful of the energies around him. Um, and maybe he didn't listen and now he's stuck in his mind. 
uh trapped in his mind i don't know also i picked up on something where it's like a masculine has been plotting something um for like either a year or two this has to do with like some type of frivolous uh court case where he wanted to trap someone in a court case have them locked up or something like that or to cause someone some type of fin financial burden where they will be like out in the street, out cold, losing everything, uh, maybe even falling from grace. Uh, like he tried to dismantle someone's foundation and this is what's happening to him because something is being balanced out. He's not happy about how things are going because this is his situation. So instead of you, uh, divine feminine or divine masculine being the one living in deplority, you being the one living in poverty. This King of Cups is the one that's about to go through it. There is something where it's like he, like something has been being planned by a group and a masculine for a long time. Like they were working everything meticulously. But I've been telling you all for a long time that you can plot and plan all you want, but the universe is the one that decides what happens. Okay. So you can go to the highest lawyer, the best paying lawyer. You can uh, have all the people you want on your team. You can have all the money in the world that you want. But if the most high says no, it's a no. So there's something, there's a lesson, a masculine and a group of people are about to learn a whole community of people because they've been plotting on someone is that we're going to dismantle her finances, his finances. We're going to uh, come together and plan this out anywhere they go, whether it's to go to church, school, work, anywhere they go to live. We're going to infiltrate those neighborhoods, those communities, and badmouth them, try to set them up. up. We're going to harvest their energy. So basically, if they had you like locked, locked up in jail, they have some type of control over you where it's like they're harvesting off of your energy and living this abundant life. Meanwhile, you're living in deplority, having to protect yourself and things like that, or living in fear and things like that. This is what they were trying to do as well. They've been doing a lot of projection energy where it's like they're sending a lot of energy to your heart to make you feel like something bad is about to happen, that you're in danger. There's even a couple in here that may be trying to manifest you just dropping everything in your life and just walking away from it and it's not going according to plan there's something where you need to pay attention to your dreams and your downloads uh if you are someone intuitive or if you just feel uneasy for no reason go and get a reading go again seek go and seek advice or something it doesn't have to be from a practitioner just call, call someone that you trust and talk to them um, but there's something where they've been doing a lot of projection energy to your heart, um, to your, 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 just your energy all over. It's like they want you living in conflict, being confused. You don't know who doing what, who's doing what. You don't know who you can trust. You don't blah, 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 blah. And it's not going in their way. You do have people that are still out here committed because they want to cause you a tower because they think it's going to end in some type of victory for them. It's not going to end in victory for them. The universe has already secured you. So whatever it is these people are plotting, this came sideways. Whatever it is these people are plotting, it's not coming into fruition. There's something where it's like a king of pentacles is working really hard to dismantle your energy. Like they want people to see you as someone... <clears throat> He don't want the truth to come out. He's working really hard to make people see you as someone that's unfit, someone that's rec reckless, like someone that maybe even sells themselves online, someone that does all kind, kinds of low vibrational activities and things like that. And it's not true, but this man is very committed to doing this someone is out here embarrassed because he ended up with a queen of wands in the reverse and this is someone that's been pretending to be in the upright so now that he's embarrassed because people know the truth about what it is that is really going on behind the scenes and this is why he's trying to have you dismantle have your foundation dismantle because he's stuck in some type of unhappy relationship or wishing to be elsewhere maybe even wishing to be with you but he's stuck in this chaotic karmic toxic situation with a jesse bell that's available for the streets and he does not want you to have fulfillment wish fulfillment i'm telling you he don't want you to have wish fulfillment and then the jesse bell is out here paying people trying to have you blocked in competition with you is that how can you compete where you don't compare 
This is someone competing with an Empress energy. You're in the reverse out here, which means you don't even stand a chance. This is why you have to manipulate and pay people behind the scenes to make things go in your favor. But I guarantee you it's not going in your favor. There's like a, 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 a official that knows exactly what has been going on. You all are not aware that there's some th that that there is some type of investigation that has been going on. There's someone amongst you that has been being looked into this could be like a leo or aries a sagittarius uh one of you have been being looked into uh and there's a feminine energy that's under investigation as well and maybe she didn't know that people are heartbroken because they've been out here telling everybody like they've been projecting onto you that you are incompetent you're not someone that's intellectual you don't know what you're talking about. You're not a true queen of swords. You're not a, a smart whatever, right? Uh, you're not diplomatic. You're not intelligent. You're like they, they just want people to see you in a deplorable energy and it's not happening. They are heartbroken because you're still showing up in this energy. They don't want people to take you serious, but people take you serious. A lie can only go so far you can tell all the lies you want a lie will travel far but the truth will always come in and cut that sucker out it say uh-uh you know you've been telling this lie for 10 years you've been telling this lie for two years and it just takes one truth to expose everything and this is what's happening either you the queen of swords you are speaking your truth you're bringing clarity into a situation and it's helping people see things from a higher perspective and move on with their life you could have a queen of wands reverse that's paying someone possibly a queen of swords to hinder someone's uh resources someone's abundance someone's uh like she's paying like <laughs> excuse me she's paying someone to do some type of projection energy, some type of cause, some type of interference to temper with someone's confidence, to temper with communications, to temper with someone's mental, but it's not working. It's like the more they do to temper with your energy, the better and better you're getting. You could even have someone that's trying to temper with your speech, like have you like sounding raw and uh, uneducated, uh, have you feel like you're not fit for something and the most high wants you to know that you are good enough for whatever it is you've chosen to do with your life. You are in charge of your own destiny, but there's a whole lot of projection going on. But as you can see, we started out here with this three of swords because this is where your enemies are going through a lot of distress behind the scenes. There could be something, some type of secret that was exposed, some type of hindrance, some type of fender bender in their plan. Because I think there was a whole plot to have you in some type of court case, have you locked up. Um, because a masculine wants to be able to control you, control your destiny, control your path, control everything. Control your confidence. Instead of you being confident, they want you trapped in your mind. But as you can see, this is not, this is not your destiny. This is your destiny. Um, so... You could also have a masculine that's trapped in a situation. Yeah, honey, he's trapped in a marriage that he does not want to be in. Um, there's something about a child. I don't know if someone had a child that, by him uh, and that has him stuck. Or the, the, just the fact that there's a child in a situation is why a masculine is choosing to stay in it. But then at the same time, wants to be spiteful towards you, wants to cause you hindrances, block your opportunities and offers. And it's just like, that's not how it goes. Okay. Um, there's something where also, I don't know if like a queen of wands, <laughs> it's like she's trying to, I don't know what this woman's problem is. There's something, there's something about someone's mental. It's just all over the place. Someone has gone from like going like above and beyond to destroy someone and is now either trying to come in and apologize to you, communicate with you, but she's wanting to go through a third party to talk to you. It's not going to go accordingly. It's like there's something where a group of people have been doing, especially a queen of wands reverse. She's been very determined to destroy another woman for resources, for a man that you have never had anything to do with divine feminine. You've never entertained this man in any way, never been on a date with him, nothing. Okay. 
Everything they are doing is because of money, jealousy, and some type of misconception about who you are is what I'm picking up. So she may be going through a third party now, who, which would be this queen of swords to communicate something about you having wish fulfillment, or maybe she wants you to know that a masculine chose her. He's choosing to work with her. That don't got nothing to do with you. I don't think you're sitting around worrying about who a masculine chooses to work with because you already know the full one one. Uh, and the sad part is that this man knows too that this woman is a liar because there's something where he's been looking into it. Okay. He's been looking into it. He knows, but there's something where it's like he feels trapped with her. He doesn't know how he can move forward. Uh, but he's working on, I guess, changing the situation because he feels trapped like someone feels trapped with a queen of wands and I don't think she realizes that. And he's trying to figure out what path to take, how he can fix something, how he can, how he can heal something, how he can move on because this is him every day feeling trapped and burdened way down. He wants to come in and give you an offer, but he does not know what it is that's going to happen when he gives you this offer because someone would juggle you in the past because of a group of friends that misled him and had him in fear when it came to you. There's an emperor in here as well that's going through some type of uh, re remorse. It's not really remorse. Um, I think someone just feels embarrassed because they went all out trying to destroy you, but now they have to move on because the truth is out. What they're realizing is that it does not matter what kind of magic they do, what kind of manipulation it is they're doing, whether they're trying to get you cut up in a court case. It's always going to go in your favor because someone in the court, court system has foresight of all the malicious things these people have been doing behind the scenes. This is a whole family that's been doing a lot of malicious things, doing all kinds of underhanded moves, working with crooked officials in the court system, possibly cops, lawyers judges to make sure something goes in their favor there's some type of news coming towards and it's going to lead to chaos and it's going to balance something out but it's just like why are you all this gun hole on destroying someone trying to dismantle someone's life their energy they're trying to harm it's like there was i don't know what this is it's like a group of people were under some type of illusion that they were manifesting off of your energy now i don't know how Someone made them believe that, but there's something that has backfired really horribly. And it's like everything they thought they were manifesting off of you, quite possibly misusing your energy, your name, uh, starting false businesses and things like that. Everything is being exposed and these people have found themselves in some type of fender bender that they cannot get out of. You have a king of cups that's stuck in his mind, going through a lot of problems, may have some legal issues coming in. There's a court case coming in that's going to expose the truth about everything this man has been doing. A partnering up with a whole emperor behind the scenes to cause you distress, determined to destroy you. Everything will be exposed and this is going to lead to some type of ending when it comes to people accepting bribery to temper with karma being balanced out people are going to be walking away because they're going to know the truth about who has been behind something that has to do with a queen of pentacles and things like that trying to temper with their energy make them look stupid in the public eye so this is like a family member a lover ex-lover or just a group of people that have it out for you going above and beyond to make you look like someone that's low vibrational but this is you the whole time make you look like someone that is like not intelligent intelligent as all but this is you the whole time trying to make you look like someone that is not abundant but this is you the whole time i don't know what it is that happening with you and these people where they have this much of a vendetta against you where they're so vengeful but i think there's something where it's a misconception they're holding on to some type of hate from the past and you more than likely didn't do anything to these people with this heart out here these are internal problems and issues that they have going on that they are refusing to address in their lives so they're taking it out on you so you didn't do anything to these people people are under the uh 
a, a illusion that you did something to them. That is part of the reason why we're starting out here with the three of swords. They think you betrayed them. You lie on them, lie to them, hurt them, did something to them. You didn't do anything to these people. More than likely, there's a king of cups that told a lot of lies about you to make you seem some type of way. And now the truth is coming out. So people may feel really uh, silly for getting involved in something that they didn't understand wholeheartedly. And now it's like time to balance something out. They don't want to, or there's a group that's trying to balance something out, but the a King of Cups still wants to keep something going because someone, I don't know what's wrong with the, the King of Cups that I'm picking up on. There's something about like just a lot of insecurities, a lot of issues. Uh, uh, I don't know if it's like mom issue, dad issue, issues that a lot of us have, but we don't go to this extent to take it out on other people. And then you have another King of Cups that will be having wish fulfillment and he's moving on with his life, investing into things that are going to elevate him. Like someone is working hard to achieve some type of discipline, achieve some type of goal so that they can be successful and have a brand new passionate beginning in life. And then you have another one that's headed straight to poverty. I don't know what it is, why these people are this, were this gun hole on taking you down, but just know that everything is being balanced out for you it, um, in due time so you don't have much to worry about you may have a king of pentacles that's interested in working with you trying to balance uh something out like he sees you as wish fulfillment maybe he admires the fact that you are someone that chooses to be independent um you could have another one that's trying to cause some type of stagnation and ending to your independence. It's like the fact that you are independent, you're self-sufficient, it bothers these people, right? You're coming out of the cold, I'm telling you. You're coming out of the cold. Uh, things are being balanced out in your life. You are ascending by the day, by the minute, by the uh, second, right? Things are improving in your life and it has these people bother. I'm telling you, things are being balanced. Even in this whatever court case that they were trying to bring against you, someone may still want to take some type of action and come in and put something to rest for you. Like they don't want you receiving some type of good news. They want to put you to an end before you receive some type of communication. It's not going to go in their favor. It's like someone is in denial at this point. And the part of the reason is that they've worked so hard for a long time to set you up because there's something that they've been plotting. I hear like something like from 2022 or something from 2023 where it has to do with someone saying that you either stole from them or something about, a, I don't know, something about finances that like maybe a group of people did some type of fraud when it comes to money and they're trying to put that on you, but you have nothing to do with it. They're trying to say that you, uh, uh, I don't know, like there's something that has to do with finances. Like they, they try to set you up to make it look like you did something to them. Someone who have a, a, a ex a father figure that tried to have your kids taken away from you, tried to paint you out as an unfit mother so that the CPS services could come in and take your kids from you. Um, there's a whole lot. It could also have to do with like someone either destroying a property and trying to make it seem that you were the one who destroyed the property, but you wouldn't have been there during the time frame that the property was destroyed. So there's something where it's like there's some type of backfire because a lot of things are not adding up. There are too many gaps in their evidence that they are presenting to the court. And also, I don't think they realize that there was someone investigating them the whole time. And this is why they're not able to take you down. There is someone living in fear for all the actions that they took to cause you losses because everything is being illuminated. Instead of you being at some type of st stalemate, this is this person at a stalemate. Someone may want to come in and have a new beginning with you, but they're stuck. Is that how do I go in and give this person an offer when they know that I've been out here trying to destroy them. I've lied on them. I've slandered them. I've taken reckless actions against them. Um, I've interfered with their co uh, connect connections when it comes to their families and their friends, colleagues, and things like that. I've even tried to get them sick. Uh, some of you, these people were trying to poison you, try to have you out of here. Because as a man and a woman behind the scenes, they hate the very fiber 
of your being, like you being alive. And this is why I always try to encourage people to see their self value and validate yourself before looking, looking for validation from anyone else, which you should never be looking for validation from anyone else. But there's a couple out here, especially the woman, she hits your very essence because you reflect something that she is not. She's been out here pretending to be authentic, pretending to be this, pretending to be that. This is a false person that's in the public eye and you will be falling from grace. This is our Melissa. This is someone we call, uh, that, that's our uh, name for the karmic feminist on this energy. This woman is absolutely toxic, still lying about the fact that she paid a group of people to cause you some type of loss and disappointment, hoping that you will move on and not have victory in what your path on your destiny. So there's something you are doing that you are skilled at. And Melissa has been paying people behind the scenes so that you can give up. Meaning if you have a platform like myself, Melissa is paying people to temper with your platform so that the, so that you're not growing. And if you're not growing, then eventually you're going to give up and say, well, it's not going anywhere. I try. It is what it is. It's not happening, Melissa. I don't care how long you pay people to keep tempering with someone's platform. The reason why some of the content creators are doing their content is not the same reason why you got in the public eye. You more than likely got in the public eye due to your connections to people behind the scenes. Other people actually put in the work to get to where they are and they do what it is they do for passion. You do yours for money, for attention. Okay. Yeah. You like a lot of attention and you're going to have to walk away, cut your losses and walk away because this ain't going nowhere. Go deal with that illness that you have. The whole family is mentally unstable that you come from or the community. I don't think it's everybody in your community or your family that's unstable, but it's a, a majority of them. Like your family, they're unstable. It's the end. Whatever you all have been plotting when it comes to someone's ten of pentacles is going to backfire. You're trying to hold on to something that does not belong to you. You're trying to hold on to some type of relationship that you know is over. It's over, darling. It's over. I'm telling you. It's over. Okay. And there is someone in the background of you all that is aware of everything you've been doing, all the lies, all the briberies, the false friendships that you put together to temper with justice carrying, being carried out to block a chapter from closing out and things like that, to block someone's healing, to block someone's wish fulfillment, trying to temper with someone's, uh, uh connection to their ancestors, someone answering their calls and things like that. All your rituals and everything, your secrets, everything is going to be exposed. If you were trying to block a queen of cups, baby, they're going to be having wish fulfillment in our relationship that you've been trying to block. Whether this is a business relationship, whether this is like, I don't know, friendship, some type of alliance, because sometimes we get together with our soul companions just so that we can establish a friendship for support, right, on our path. So if these two are meant to come together for supporting each other, it's going to happen. Like what the universe has decided is the last judgment. There's some type of final judgment that has been made and it's not something you can change. And I know you're burdened by that feeling uh, rejected and things like that by your community, but this is how it was always meant to be. You are falling from grace. You will be exposed as a Jesse Bell. You will be exposed as someone that's a fraud. So you can keep paying people behind the scenes to hide it and do this and do that. It's not going to work. You're going to be seen for who you are. And this could have been avoided if you would have just left people alone. Because you're not just doing this to one platform. You've been doing this to a lot of people. And so this is why you're going to be exposed. You will absolutely be on the news or there's something that's going to be done publicly. Like something is going to be done publicly so you won't be able to hide it. I think you may be asking for someone to hide what it is you've been doing or the fact that you are being let go. They're, they're saying, no, we're going to be announcing this to the world. Okay. And whoever you've been trying to block, baby, they're going to be in having their wish fulfillment, their abundance, 
Like you've been trying to block people from seeing the truth about an impress energy, trying to block people from seeing where you're getting your, your, I don't know, your information, your content, your creativity, because you're not someone creative. A queen of wands in the reverse is not someone that's creative. That's someone whose emotions are all over the place. They don't even operate from their emotions. So if you don't operate from your emotions, your creativity spark, your creativity energy is on lockdown. It, it, it's not activated. So that should let people know that you're not creative in the first place because you're in the reverse. People should see how you carry yourself, but you're also someone that presents yourself to be diplomatic. You're not diplomatic. This is you. This is you. You're not diplomatic. You're not authentic. You're not original. You're not creative. You're not innovative, but that's how you present yourself. And all of this is about to be exposed. Okay. Um, and then Something I'm picking up on is that, you know, gosh, I'm so tired of these people. But I think this message has to come out because there's something that's been going on for a long time. And the, the readings that we've been doing is bringing clarity into a situation for either a specific community, family, couple, whatever, a masculine. I don't know what this is, but it's bringing in some type of clarity. There's something where people are trapped in their mind. They're mental. They're confused all over the place because there's like a high priestess that's still receiving their downloads. There's a high priestess that's still confident. There's, still, there's a high priestess that still knows what it is they're supposed to know. And why these people are confused is because they've been doing rituals behind the scenes so that this high priestess does not receive communication, whether it's from the spirit realm, whether it's from someone else, an institution, someone has been interfering with communication, but this high priestess is still receiving their communication. So even if they don't receive it physically, they receive it spiritually, either from their ancestors, through visions or dreams or just through one of the clairs because someone could have all the clairs and people don't know that so even if you successfully blocked one of the clairs temporarily because that's what it is it's temporary magic that you're all doing because this kind of person is in the upright you can't block their intuition permanently it's something temporary even uh if you are even able to do it when you block one form of clear, they get it a different way. So if they don't hear it, they're going to see it. If they don't see it, they're going to feel it. You know what I mean? So there's something like that you all don't understand. Okay. And each one of those clears, this person has mastered. So they know when someone comes in their energy and something is off about them, they'll pick up on that. They may not see them like they used to, but they'll feel the energy. So then they know that in my, that's not my kind of folks to be tempering with. Okay. Something is disingenuine about them. And you know, these high priestesses, when they know things, they kind of just keep it on the hush. They, you know, they mind their business. They don't say nothing about it. Right. Um, so they can know the truth about something and you try to play them. They're not going to make a fuss about it. They'll just let you say your piece, you know, give you the answer that they want to give you and let it be. But in due time, you best believe they're going to be communicating what it is that they're supposed to when the universe tells them when to come. I'm telling you when the universe tells them when to attune the situation, bring balance in the situation. Um, so someone may be wanting to communicate with a high priestess now. Um, I don't know what this communication has to do with. Maybe you want to bring clarity to a situation or maybe you want to ask for forgiveness or you want to confess something because you all are going through something. It's like a masculine also wants to communicate something because he participated in some type of setup uh, before knowing the full truth about what was going on. And now he may want to communicate with a high priestess to let him know. Hey, this is what is going on. I didn't know this is what, uh, this is, this was based on a lie, whatever this is, but baby, I don't know what to tell you all. Did this, this here? Oh Lord. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. I don't what, I think there's an institution here too that knows that they're going to have to move on because something is just not going in their favor. Someone could have a whole institution that's backing them up or was backing them up to dismantle someone else's life so that they all could benefit from it. And all of this is coming out. Now, I don't know how long you all thought this was going to go on, which it does not make sense. Things like this only last for so long. 
Okay, I hear someone saying, I didn't know it was going to come to an end this quickly. Yeah, it was. Like, I, I don't I don't know how long you all think things like this are supposed to go on. Maybe they've done it before to someone else and it took a long time for the truth to come out. Or maybe the truth never came out. But there are specific energies that you just, that you cannot get away with those kind of tactics. Because the universe is watching them 24-7. Especially if it's someone that has a calling on their lives. Someone that's meant to be in the public eye. Someone that's a communicator. Because I'm seeing the... Queen of Swords out here and the Page of Wands. That means that there is some that is someone that's meant to be a communicator, someone that uses their words to manifest, to heal, to elevate, to help other people ascend. So that means they have a very big big calling on their life. So that's not someone you can just go and temper with their energy, try to cause them endings and things like that, and then think it's gonna it's gonna just go the way you want and you're just going to roll over every night and have a good night's sleep you're under judgment that that's not how it goes so you have someone out here that may want to take action instead of moving on they want to put an end to someone's decision they say um you know what i'm going to keep going this will be like the last man standing they want to keep going there is a a gentleman that's playing that's deciding to listen some of the women talking it's like they're trying to confuse me. Girl, I'm not confused, sir. I'm not confused. I know exactly what, what it is you all are trying to do. You don't want the truth out. If you're going to commit yourself to this extent, you should be okay with people talking. Like you're committed to your mission to trapping, bonding, and blocking people. So let us talk about it since you're that committed. You said this was your destiny. Let us talk about your destiny so you can understand your destiny. Okay, there's a man in here that's choosing to move on and put an end to this collaboration with these people. He's like, this is it. I can't do it. He's having a, like someone is healing, bringing balance into a situation, may want to reach out to you to reconcile with you. Now that he knows the truth, he wants to balance things out with you. Okay, I don't know who this is. I've been picking up a lot on like a Sagittarius energy, a Leo energy, a Aries, like a, a Aries, an Emperor. I don't know who this is. The King of Pentacles, King of Cups, King of Swords has been showing up a lot in my reads. So it could be one of them. And it, maybe this is something they are keeping. They, listen, they came out. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, this man is putting an end. To this karmic cycle with these people he may be pissed off behind the scenes because he took some type of reckless action against you without knowing the truth and now he wants to bring balance have some type of attunement this could be someone that has a lot of emotions for you may want to get married to you but you don't know this person or you may not be aware that they have emotions for you and they are out here afraid that you are going to reject them when you reject this man just know that he's still going to be standing his ground and now nah, you ain't rejected me i don't went through too much to come here to talk to you you're gonna hear me you're gonna listen to me he's still afraid but i'm telling you he's still coming in to give you this offer because he wants to have a brand new beginning with you but he's about to be in your face like nah i'm not taking no for an answer <laughs> there him go <laughs> that brother said nope i'm not taking no for an answer I don't went through too much to get here to talk to you. You're going to hear me out. <laughs> he said, I've been through the fire. I've cursed bridges. I've been through volcanoes and hurricanes and tornadoes to come to you. You're going to listen to what I have to say. And gosh, darn it, woman, I'm not taking no for an answer. Okay. You two will have to, fig have to figure that out when it happens. Okay. I see why you're trying to reject him. Because he lied. <laughs> He's still out here being toxic. <laughs> I'm telling you, these people, they're still working on how to trap you even though it's, like, it's not. It's not happening. This is like being in denial that something is over. Okay, there's a queen of swords that does a lot of manipulation. Like she uses her words to, to manipulate. It's, it's black magic that she's doing. She uses her words to manipulate, to lie, deceive. She's very cunning and cold and calculated for the way she does it. You don't even know that this woman is trapping you. 
But the way that she's going about it, you think that she's a friend, but she's not your friend. This is a queen of swords in a community, still manipulating, still lying, still, still causing illusions and things like that. And while she's causing illusions, she's going through some type of some type of karma behind the scenes. Like she's in some type of situation that she can, she don't even want to talk about. She don't want to talk to people about. And this is her karma. Okay. This is her karma. You, you have a queen king of cups that will be communicating with you. Like he's going to send something to you. Now, I don't know if this is someone you want to talk to. This is someone you're aware of. He wants to come out of the call with you. Like he wants to reconcile with you tell you like why he did something he did in the past or tell you that he didn't know something was going on everybody in here knew what was going on don't let anyone misguide you they all knew what it is that was going on the king of pentacles knew the king of cups knew queen of swords king of swords everybody everybody knew and they all formed some type of pack to say that they didn't that they will never uh, betray each other. They will never speak the truth. They're all binded to something. They all made some type of demonic, some type of dark alliance to not speak the truth, to act like they don't know what's going on. Some of them accept their bribery behind the scenes. So when you sit to talk to them, they pretend like they don't know what's going on. Don't worry, someone is going to sink like a canary when they tell them how much time they stand to serve in prison. That's when they'll start, trust me, they'll go from wanting to defeat you, being determined to take you out to, mm, I got to be practical about this situation. Yeah, this ain't going the way I want it to because these people, they know the truth, so I got to. Yeah. Someone may end up confessing. You could have like a queen of pentacles that's going to be confessing the truth. Behind the scenes, uh, it's a whole lot of lies because this is one of those people that were going above and beyond to take you out to end you and things like that. But the, the, the cycle of you being betrayed, people plotting on you, it's all over. Like the universe is all over something. They're all over something. Okay. And the universe is like people, there could be people in this community too. And in the, your ancestors, they're proud of you for taking actions and staying committed to your path, to staying committed to yourself. Like your hard work is going to pay off. It is going to lead to abundance. Like you standing and advocating for yourself is part of the reason why you are overcoming your enemies and your ancestors want you to know that they say that you did your part in this situation and this is why you are having victory over your enemies they, they, they can work as hard as they want to trap you block you stop you destroy you that's always going to be it's them trying now the, the the source said what no weapons formed against you shall prosper Okay, they said the weapon, the, the the weapons will not prosper, right? The plots will not prosper, but they didn't say people will not form the plots. So they can plan all they want. That does not mean it's going to prosper against you. That's the part people don't remember. They didn't say that they weren't going to plot and plan to take you out. They said the no weapons formed against you shall prosper. So let them keep plotting. Let them keep planning. It's going to all backfire. Some of these people are about to be serving long prison sentences and things like that. Listen, oh Lord. And a lot of these people in this community, family, friend group, they're all going through some type of, I don't know what this, like I'm trying to get a vibe on these people, but they're just all over the place. It's a lot of conflict. A lot of confusion. People are heartbroken about them lying, being trapped in something. They didn't know what they were really getting into. They thought it was all fun and games when it started. It was just jokes. Uh, it turned to something serious. They didn't know someone was actually plotting to have someone locked up for something they didn't do. They didn't know someone was actually invading someone's privacy to this extent. They didn't know someone was lying. Like People thought something was just funny. Like, you you know, some, something was just he-he-ha-ha, ha, but they're finding out it wasn't just he-he-ha-ha. Ha, it has gotten serious. And the person that's investigating or whoever a king of source is in a situation, he has names, numbers, and contacts for everybody 
that he needs to have it for. That's what you all didn't know. And when, when it's time to come in and collect people, they know exactly where you all are. So you can't be trying to get away and all of that. And, and listen, you're leaving to end up right in court. So I don't know where you think you're sneaking up to. You're going to end up as soon as you try to make a move to get away. Court investigation, right? Looking into what? <laughs> this situation. Everything. You see that? The whole time you all have been plotting on someone, you didn't know you were being looked into. And when it's all said and done, a court official will be balancing something out. So I don't know what it is you all thought you were getting away with. Talking about, yeah, I'm filing a, a, a lawsuit against her because she stole this from me. She defamed my character. She said this about me. And the whole time, you know, it's all frivolous nonsense. It's all lies. It don't even stand any grounds or nothing because you want to boy, be able to control someone you're trying to teach someone a lesson because your ego is so big that's all it has to do with there's a man out here that feels like he's he want, he has to teach someone a lesson so he can put her in her place but he's about to be put in his place is that you want to be a bully i can be a bully too so he's trapped in something he started can you imagine starting something Thinking you're about to destroy someone, not realizing you're putting yourself right into a hole, into a ditch. Like you're busy digging this grave for someone, digging and digging and digging. Only at the end for you to realize you're the one that has to fall in that grave. So he thought he was teaching someone a lesson. He said, by all means, I'm going to teach her a lesson. You may want to be careful who you piss off, but because you may want to be careful who you piss off because, uh, uh, someone can make your life really difficult. They can make your life really hard. So he's been doing things, sneaking you behind the scenes. And now look at you, baby. Look at you. Look at you. One source do it. One source do it. Want him do it? It's someone working really hard behind the scenes to, uh, to fix something. I don't know what it is you all broke. But you may want to fix it because something... There's... Something where it's that people are about to be dropping like flies in a community. People are about to be dropping like flies. So whatever you broke, you may want to fix it. You may want to balance it out. I don't know what to tell you all. You may want to fix what you broke because you're trapped in something. There's no way out of it. It ain't no way out of it. You may want to choose and move on with your life. Try to rebuild the rest of the years that you have move on but you may want to fix something because there's some type of karma that's coming for you all it's going to be like death after death after death endings after endings and it's going to be so supernatural it won't even make sense three or four people may pass away in a community yeah an empress queen of wands emperor Someone else is going to be passing. Like, you all may want to fix something because I don't know what it is you got yourselves into. You thought it was funny. You thought it was, I don't know. You wanted to live on, on the edge. You said, live a little. Be edgy a little. The universe said, oh, okay. We're going to be edgy with you. <laughs> you want to be edgy? We'll teach you edgy. So, yeah, this is what's going on. You wanted to live a little. Be risky, someone said step out of your box a little bit come on it'll be okay nothing's gonna happen we have people in the court system that's gonna make sure this is taken care of you don't have nothing to worry about someone said i have connections we got it um okay and the whole time the universe was sitting back and watching you they said oh you got connections okay okay you got connections Okay, this Queen of Wands has gone from wanting to destroy you to now wanting to balance things out with you because she knows whatever she thought she was going to receive, she's not receiving it. You, you, baby, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know. It's that she's trying to attune something with you so that she doesn't go through karma. She doesn't go through exposures. She doesn't go through a tower. Honey, I don't know what to tell you, but that's real cute. That is real cute. So you've been paying, like, just paying. You said, I'm going to pay you 
to make their life as difficult as possible, cause them burdens, trap them, lie on them, say that they're toxic and karmics as heck. I've looked into their background. I couldn't find anything of substance to expose them or blackmail them with because this is what, what they wanted to do. They were trying to find something on you to be able to blackmail you so they can have some type of control over you, over your work, over your income. It's like, if you say anything, we're going to expose this. Mother, mother efforts like me, if this was me, you don't got nothing you can expose me about and I'm going to feel embarrassed about. Oh, she got pregnant at 17 and I did. Oh, she used to be homeless and I was. Oh, she went through 12 years of civil war and I did. What's your point? What's your point? Oh, she's emotionally unstable. So is everybody. <laughs> she's mentally unstable. So is everybody. What's your point? Okay. <laughs> now, if you come out here and say, oh, she's reckless and sells herself. Say, oh, lawsuit. <laughs> you got me bold. I will move that way. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's like they were trying to find something to blackmail you with so they can have some type of control over you, block your forward movement. It's like if you ever try to be in the public eye or work in this field again, we're going to expose this about you so you can know that we mean business and you don't belong here. Oh, really? Yeah, it, stuff like that don't work with me, honey. It don't work with me. You can say whatever you want to, as long as it's the truth. Don't, you know, like Kendrick Lamar said, don't tell no lies on me, and I won't tell no truth about you. Okay? Okay. Anyways, folks, looks like the universe is stepping in to take charge of a situation and balance it. I said, hey, 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 we've had enough of this situation. We're, you need to call it quit. You need to cease fire. We don't told you to wave your white flag because this is not here. This here ain't what you want, sister. This here ain't what you want. Like We're done. This is not your industry. This is not your lean. This is not your man. This is not your destiny. This is not your contract. It don't matter what you do. You're not having this contract. Your time is up of pretending to be something you're not. And this king of swords, I mean king of pentacles, this man... <laughs> this man, he, he feels so foolish behind the scenes. It's like someone thinking they just know everything. Whole time he didn't know he was being deceived. He thought he was in love. He had found the love of his life. He was going to commit to her, get married, everything. And now he's choosing to balance something out. He said, no, nah, I'm going to go with that independent woman. <laughs> you know, the one that likes to work. Figure things out. Be so sufficient. Like the emperor, the, the empresses and high priestesses. Yeah, I'm going to go with them. I don't got to worry about them having their hand out. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me every five seconds. So you know what? I'm good. I don't have to worry about, you know, funding their business every freaking week a month because they know how to manage money and things like that. They're not out here sleeping all day. But wanting to be rich, they're putting in the work like myself. So he said, I'm moving on, Jizzy Bell. Uh, Melissa, sorry. Melissa. Anyways, thank you for watching, folks. I'll see you in my next read. Goodbye for now.